Hey Rachel, <clears throat> this is the uh, the GF1 with the 14 to 45 um, lens and the electronic viewfinder. The thing that that I think makes this camera so so great is um, the usability of it. So um, I just turn the camera on. You can see at the bottom they have all these different uh, menu choices. Obviously, you can go in and and with the buttons just pick and adjust the menus here, but they also have a quick menu, which is the button right here, and then you can, you know, scroll through anything and and make a change. The other thing is that um, you have this scroll wheel up here that lets you adjust depending upon the mode you're in. I'm an aperture priority, um, which is what I, I like to shoot. If you see over here is my aperture, and I can, you know, raise my aperture up to 22 and I can lower it with this lens down to 3.5 and then if I click the wheel another time over here is my um, my exposure compensation adjustment so I can raise that and lower that and you actually see on the side here in the histogram that if I'm lowering it it's telling me that I made a change the other thing that um, you have immediate access to is ISO which on film you don't have to ever change once you load your film but with digital it's one of the three components that lets you find an exposure that's um, going to work for the kind of picture you're doing. So, you know, I might want to, because I'm indoors right now, set the ISO to uh, 800 or 1,000. And then, uh, you know, I can go through and, and uh, change my, uh, my uh, aperture. Um, and from what I can tell, the other thing is the, uh, the the manual focus here, which is really incredible. I think they have this on the Olympus where it does, um, it kind of zooms in and, um, and lets you focus. Or you can set, set it to, uh, whoop, what did I do there? Automatic focus mode where it does that. Um, uh, AE lock is up here, playback is up here, you got your flash button. It's just the usability of this camera is, um, it's phenomenal. It's very similar to one of the small Leica cameras that I have. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I don't think from what I can read that the EPL gives you the ability to, um, uh, go in and, and easily change... Uh, your aperture or um, your shutter speed um, as quickly. I mean, that seems to be um, one of the knocks on it. It also, from what I can read, is kind of a step down in the um, camera-wise. I would say if you want to go with the Olympus, then I'd rather see you go with the EP1 or the EP2. EP2 is a little bit more expensive. You know, the last thing I'd say here is that the um, the electric viewfinder... The EVF here, it it's usable. I mean, it's it's good enough to help you frame a picture. Um, and I think over time they're probably going to make um, come out with a better one. That that you know, for the cost, it might be worth just just trading up. Anyway, that's my two cents again. Hope this helps.